The topic for this video is how to provision Caligo's email manager add-in for Microsoft 365. Notice that we're preferring to use the word provision rather than install. This is because Caligo's Office add-in is not a traditional COM-based program like some of our prior products that were installed onto the desktop. Those older products technically called plugins were installed on the Windows desktop like any other traditional application. By contrast, modern add-ins for Office do not technically require installation. This is because core functionality does not need to be run on the desktop, but instead is run on a Caligo Azure server in the cloud. No significant code is installed on your Office tenant or desktop. What happens instead is a small XML file called a manifest is uploaded to your tenant and permission is granted in your Microsoft tenant for Caligo to run the functions needed to copy or move emails between Exchange and SharePoint. Now let's look at the modern Office add-in benefits before we get into the provisioning. The biggest benefit is for your Microsoft 365 administrator. They only need to put aside about 10 minutes to provision the add-in from the Microsoft Store. And in that process, there is no code installation, just one XML file is uploaded. No software packaging, no desktop visits, and the deployment is done automatically by Microsoft. And in the future, there's no upgrade tasks required by IT either. The security is very simple. It's a simple grant and removal process for permissions. And that single deployment will cause the add-in to run everywhere that you run Outlook, on the desktop, Windows or Mac, on the web using Outlook Online, or on your mobile device that's using Outlook for iPhone or Outlook for Android. All right, so let's discuss how to provision the Caligo add-in. So it can be provisioned on two levels. It can be provisioned locally or centrally. Now, by locally, I mean via the Outlook client itself, either using the web or the desktop. And this is good for one-off testing. For example, an administrator may want to test it on their own machine before they roll it out to any users. And it also has a benefit that it only rolls it out to the device where you've provisioned it itself. And it only requires access to the Microsoft Store, or you can use a Caligo Supply Manifest file. That's that XML file I was referring to earlier. Now, this does not bypass the need for an administrator to be involved to supply permissions. And that is the second requirement. You must have tenant admin permissions in order to install it. And so you cannot just have an end user installing Caligo and uh, testing it out on their own. They do need to coordinate this with the administrator. Now, the second way of provisioning is centrally via the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And this is popular when you want to get a group involved with testing and also, of course, for final rollout. And this is provisioned to all the Outlook instances used by that user. So if that user has their desktop instance, Mac or Windows, or using it Outlook on a browser or have a mobile app, it's just one exercise to deploy it to all those devices. And also the deployment is done completely automatically by Microsoft, and it could take up up to 12 hours, but usually it's much faster. Okay, so enough slideware, let's get into the actual provisioning process. So we'll start with the local version. All right, so here in my Outlook Windows desktop, I have my icon here. So how do we get this icon to show up so that we can click on it and then start using it? All right, it's not gonna show up unless we do the following. We have to get to the Microsoft Store. So we click on Get Add-ins. Click on Search Add-ins. We type in Caligo, hit Enter. All right, and then it magically shows up. Now I've already got it installed and it says Added here, but all you would do is click on it and uh, click on the word Add and then it will show up. And at that point, you do need to have your administrator involved to get it to actually work. So when you actually activate Caligo for the first time, uh, you will get a login screen, you'll log in, and then it will ask you to provide permissions. And I will pop up a screen of what that screen will look like here. Okay, so this is the uh, form that your administrator will see uh, if they're helping you at your desktop. Uh, they will need to click on consent on behalf of your organization, and then they will be required to log in with their administrator ID. After that, then you will be able to use it on your own desktop. Of course, we're expecting the administrator to be the person that's likely doing this in the first place. Now, some companies may have blocked the access to the Microsoft Store. So when you click on Get Add-ins, you'll not actually see 
the choice of add-ins here from the store. But under My Add-ins, you will likely see a section down about halfway here called Custom Add-ins. And this is what you can use to add a custom add-in from the XML file that Caligo can provide. So it's simply a matter of clicking on Add a Custom Add-in. And instead of using a URL, uh, we will give you a file. And then you simply click on Add from File, select the file that we give you, and the rest of the steps are the same. OK, so now we'll look at the centralized method for deploying the add-in. So here I am in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And I'm looking for settings. I don't see it. So I'll click on Show All. And there's Settings. Open that up. Go down to Integrated Apps. OK, you can see I already have Email Manager installed here. But let's pretend it's not. I'm going to click on Get Apps. And this will open the Microsoft Store. Now, one thing we've noticed is that the Microsoft Store doesn't seem to work properly with Microsoft Edge at the moment. So we're using uh, Chrome by Google. So here, just like when you're installing it locally, all you have to do is search for Clego with two L's. All right, it comes up like so. Here's Email Manager. You click on it. You can read through the information if you wish. Watch a little video. And then click on Get It Now. Uh, there's some information here on your agreements. Hit continue. Now, I've already installed it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch to another screen so I can show you what you need to fill in. Now, this is from a document that we will share with you so that you can install it following a checklist. So once you've uh, clicked on the add-in and uh, chosen to deploy it, uh, you'll be asked a couple of questions. The first question is what users you would like to use. So that's the add user screen. And uh, you could just select just me, and that's whoever's logged in. So it'd be the administrator, of course. Uh, you can say your entire organization. But more than likely, what you're going to do is use specific users or groups. We would recommend that you create an Office 365 group or a security group and put all the users that are going, that are going to be testing Caligo or using Caligo, put them into that group, and then put that group here. All right, And that uh, ensures that Microsoft will know who to push the add-in to. And finally, you'll be requested to fill in the permission request form. And you just have to consent on behalf of your organization and click on Accept. And uh, do be sure to read through the uh, permissions that are required. Uh, Caligo does require certain permissions in order to access your user's mailbox and copy or move the emails over to SharePoint. So if you have any questions, certainly reach out to Caligo for help. Uh, we are happy to help you be successful in your trial and for your rollout.